am so sorry about the technical difficulties, you guys. But as Papaya was saying, she really does help people to get out there with her promotional business of book, book promotions. And she does a lot of social media work. And as authors, sometimes we're great at writing the written word in our book and getting ourselves out there, but not exactly knowing how to market afterwards. And that is what Mr. Pilot was talking about. Hopefully we're gonna be able to finish it up right now. Okay, you guys, um, thank you for, for that. And I know that you guys probably found very much good information from Ms. Papaya. And we are now going to introduce our next guest, Ms. Ami Kodashian, not Kardashian. And she is the author of The Tears and Hope. She's an inspiration was inspired by her life story and the obstacles and challenges she faced while living through the 1975 Lebanese Civil War. Wow, that sounds exciting. It is very exciting. And, and then for, for, for 13 years where she escaped death three times and lost many close family members, Due to her severe dyslexia in the war, she was forced to leave school at only the fourth grade. Today, Ami is a transformational keynote speaker and creator of the and director of three online TV shows at akexperts.com, founder of the AK, AK and the Expert Online Academy, and seminar presenter. We would like to now take it away, Ms. Kodashian. Kardashian? She was just here. She was just here. Okay. Well, I'm sure she'll be right back, coming right back soon. So now you guys get to look at my pretty face. Oh, but also, anyone in the audience that has any questions so far for any of the other speakers? Most of them are here. So anyone? I know I have a question for Ms. Yakavisi. But I always have a question for Ms. Yakovici, so I apologize. 
Go right ahead. I just wanted to know, I, could you run down that full list of credentials again? <laughs> it's my favorite part of your speech. I mean, besides the humor. <laughs> so, you know, I got nothing on Tara because she had a whole list. Um, uh, so let's see, I am, uh, I, yeah. I am the president of the Annapolis chapter of the Maryland Writers Association. So folks who are local to Maryland, um, you should know that that is a great resource um, that uh, beginning writers, folks who are, who, you know, have already been published. It's a wonderful resource. Uh, we have chapters all over the state. Mine is Annapolis, but There, there's some in Southern Maryland. Um, so basically all over the place. And we have monthly meetings where we bring in different people from the publishing industry. Just, uh, just this past Wednesday, our meeting was about um, uh, how to write a book review and how to get your book, what are the best chances that you can have for getting your book reviewed through a relatively significant site like Kirkus or Publishers Weekly, um, as we were discussing earlier. So uh, all sorts of things that you can learn and know by being a member of Maryland Writers Association. Um, the other one is, as I said, is Washington Independent Review of Books, and that is one of those review sites. Uh, it has, it's been around for uh, six years now. This is our, our, I'm sorry, it's been around for seven years. Um, our conference this year is the fifth annual conference. Um, but they publish new content uh, five days a week. They are a book review site. They review both fiction and nonfiction, um, mainly mainstream, but some genre. Um, and uh, again, I, I highly recommend following them for under, you know, seeing what's out there to be read. Uh, I review for them. I also am an assignments editor for them, and I am now the chair of their conference. Uh, and oh, by the way, they um, they are now being archived in the uh, Library of Congress, so they're considered relatively. They have arrived, right? They're they're not the they're not the New York Times, you know, book review, but but they're doing pretty well. Um, I also review for Historical Novel Society. So again, um, you know, historical novels are you know 700 uh, pages if they're anything. So it's uh, it's always <laughs> fun to read a good historical novel. Um, I also do participate on a, uh, a blog um, called Late Last Night Books, um, and I owe, I, I owe my next posting on Monday, so I better hurry up and write that, uh, or finish writing it, I should say. Um, and then, obviously, I'm continuing to work on my own fiction, so I'm, I'm working on my second book right now, or at least I'm trying to work on my second book. Uh, I do have a full-time day job. I'm a system engineer uh, for a contract with the federal government. So I think I'm one of the ones who's uh, supposed to be getting drained out of the swamp. So who, who, who can tell? <laughs> <laughs> but it'll, it'll give me more time to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to write. There you go. I think our, your next speaker is up. Yes, yeah. our next speaker just showed up. And thank you, Ms. Yacobi, so glad I could much. I'm glad the air talk. <laughs> So let's go through the thing again. Okay, so Ms. Kodashian, Ms. Ami Kodashian, not Kardashian, Kodashian, is the author of Tears in Hope, her inspirational true life story, in which she overcame obstacles and challenges during the 1975 Lebanese Civil War for 13 years, where she escaped death three times and lost many close family members due to her severe and dyslexia and the war, she was forced to leave school at the fourth grade. Today, Ami is a transformational keynote speaker and a and the creator and director and producer of three online shows at akandtheexpertstv.com, the founder of AK and the Experts Online Academy and Seminar Presented. Ms. Kodashian, please take it away. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you just okay. fine. Okay, good, good. Well, uh, it's very nice to be here with you guys. Um, um, so I, you asked me to do the webinar and uh, you want me to talk about 
the experiences, who I am, and all that. You already did the introduction, and um, I'm so glad to be here today. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, and yes, we're so happy to have you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, you want me to, well, uh, first of all, nice to be here with you guys and uh, just to uh, connect with like-minded people who appreciate the hard work you put in when you write a book or you run a business and um, you understand what it takes to be where you're at. So it's great to be here. And um, today's subject, it's about you want to inspire women to uh, write their books, tell their story, basically. And uh, I think um, when we tell our story, it, it's not only healing to yourself, it's uh, really you're giving something of your knowledge and experience and the wisdom you learn throughout your experiences. Because every experience, every chapter of your life, there is some lesson that you learned. And that's why I encourage uh, the ladies to really can think about how important it is to share those lessons. And those lessons supposed to be not just for us, it's to help others to see themselves in different perspective and help give them hope to tell them you're not alone. We, somebody else went through the same thing and maybe what I did to overcome it, you can uh, learn or use the techniques or the tools that helped me to overcome my obstacles. So it's all around healing when we share our stories. Um, if, if I have to tell you the truth, which I always tell you the truth, is that when um, I decided to write my Middle Eastern culture, that we do not talk about our life story, not alone, just to write about it. And it was really, I had to really step into what we call a courage to do something like this because I have family behind me and we have a, a belief system that writing, telling about your story, it's not something we do in our culture. And I'm sure, you know, I've been in the United States for a long time now uh, and here too, we don't tell our story just to tell our story. However, my experience of telling the story really, really has gave me a lot of peace and gave me the to see other people how, when they finish reading my book, how they start to see their life. Um, so I did, I did tell uh, the story of my life, and I could uh, tell you a little bit because I know you're waiting for that. Um, I was 12 years old when the Lebanese Civil War began, and I had a learning disability. Today we know as dyslexic, 